Okay, these, these are two problems that are very similar to some that are in the homework, I think maybe 28 and 29, somewhere around there in the homework um, for the second lesson in that first unit for college algebra. So I don't believe that there's, I'm told that there is not an example in the notes to help you rationalize something like this. So I'm gonna explain it. So we're gonna start with the one on the left. So we're gonna start with this one right here. Now, I've got the fifth root of two over the fifth root of four. I wanna rationalize that denominator. That fifth root, this index, means I need groups of five. So I need a group of five um, factors, five common factors. Whether it's five fours, five twos, five threes, five sevens, five tens, whatever it is, I need a group of five of them. Now, I, because I'm into factoring, which at this level of math, you should be as well. So you should see that this is two squared. You should see that this number is three cubed. There are certain exponents that you should know by now. Um, and, and I believe in a later video, if, if I haven't talked about it yet, that will come up. Um, but you should see that there are already two twos in there. So I'm gonna show you I'm gonna do my work in, in purple here. So I've got the fifth root of two over the fifth root, and then look at how I'm gonna rewrite four. I'm gonna write it as two times two. And that means I only need, I only need three more twos. So if this had three more twos, not a 22, if it had three more factors of two, I'd have a perfect group of five and then I would no longer have an irrational value in the denominator. But in order to make that happen, I'm having to multiply the denominator by the fifth root of two times two times two, which is eight. So I'm having to multiply by the fifth root of eight. So what is important for you to see is that the fifth root of eight over the fifth root of eight is just a factor of one. I'm taking this original value, which is this, and I'm multiplying it by a factor of one so that it looks a little bit different. It's gonna have the same exact value though because I'm only multiplying by one and when you multiply by one, you keep that value. So I've got the fifth root of two times the fifth root of eight in the numerator. That's gonna be the fifth root of 16. Now 16 is four twos, so I can't break that radical down anymore. It's just gonna stay the fifth root of 16. But in the denominator, the fifth root of 32, which is what two times two times two times two times two is, two times two times two times two times two is 32. The fifth root of 32 is two. We don't even have to go as far as saying 32 though because we can see the group of five twos that are underneath the radical of a common index of five. And we can take that one group of five twos, take the one two to the outside, we have no radical left over, which gives us a nice rationalized denominator. So there's that problem. In another video, I'm gonna come back and do the problem on the right.